Hey, good evening. It's uh, March 11th, Saturday. And uh, if you're not aware of it, just a final reminder here, we spring forward. So in the morning, you're going to lose an hour. So again, I'm sure you know that, but I just thought I'd throw it in. Welcome to uh, Everyday Talk 24-7. I'm going to spend a couple of days talking about faith, but before I talk about faith, per se, I want to talk about what is underlying faith. What is What are the key elements to understanding what faith is? I think we find that in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18. It says this, We fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. For what is seen is temporary or temporal, having to do with this life. But what is unseen is eternal. Let that sink in for a minute. We fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. For what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. You know, God does these things to us in His Word to keep us focused on Him, to help us realize that Everything is not dependent upon us figuring it out. Everything is dependent upon us trusting Him, having faith in Him. And one of the key components of faith is fixing our eyes on what is unseen. So the thumbnail tonight is, is a morning mist coming over the forest. And as we can strain all we want, but we can't see what's beyond the mist. But what's, the, what's there, what's beyond it, is real. And this unseen world that, we, that surrounds us, that impacts us, is more real than the seen world, the world that we can touch and feel and deal with. Listen to this music just for a moment. Let me prove a point. Listen just for a moment. See, as you listen to these tones, these notes being played, I'm sure that it impacts each of us differently. There's an unseen reality behind the notes. Well, the things that we fix our eyes on are unseen, but they're still real, more real. As a matter of fact, the unseen is more real than the real. Because the unseen connects us to God, it connects us to eternity. The window into that unseen world is the Word of God. Because through the power of the Spirit, we have this ability to transcend from the seen world, where we are right now, to the unseen world. So I understand the, seen, the unseen world through the Word of God by the power of the Spirit of God revealing those things to us in His Word that we can't discern by ourselves. Because apart from the grace and wonder of God and God opening our hearts and giving us new life, there's a barrier here that's even more thick than that fog you see in the picture on the thumbnail for the video. But through the Word of God, we have the opportunity to peel through that thick mist and begin to see what is eternal. I understand that life is not simply for being lived right now. Life is about living for beyond what's right now. Because if we live for the moment, what happens to us? If we live for what is seen only, what happens to us? If I live for just this particular moment, then life truly isn't living, worth living. <clears throat> and if you look at our culture around us, the 
people are losing hope because they're trying to trust in the moment. And guess what? It doesn't deliver or it hurts or it's too painful. It's because we can't see through the thick mist to what is really real on the other side. The things that matter to you most are not anything that you can see, but the things that you think, the things that you feel, the emotions that happen, the thoughts that you have. At the base level, you can't see any of those things. I can't see any of those things. But they are real. But if I live life simply on the basis of what I can see and or the immediate, or if somebody hurts me, or if I live in fear of people, or fear of what might happen, or I'm given to anxiety, or I'm envious, I'm overcome with the worry. What am I worrying about? I'm worrying about all the things that I can see. Even the things I don't know what will happen, I'm worried about them and I put them in my terms. I don't put them in God's terms, who has promised me he will care for me, that his unfailing love is always with me, that he will work out whatever is going to happen for my good. That's not what I worry about. I worry about all the things I can think about. What, what about this? What about that? What about the other thing? I can't pay this. Or that. What about this person who's unkind to me? What about this thing that I, I can't overcome? That's why people are driven to substance abuse. Because they're living for what they see. And they fear the unknown instead of having their eyes fixed on what is unseen. None of us can see what Jesus has done for us but it's still real, more real than anything else. No one can quantify, write down on a piece of paper, what it means to have my sins forgiven and to have hope. But those things are real. If we live by this hope, this reality, this certainty, then we begin to have a little bit of a window into what faith is all about. This is what brings us to what makes life worth living. Not for what I see, but for what I don't see. So let's fix our eyes, not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. For what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. That's where hope is. And that's the thought to end this week. We'll talk more about faith on Monday, Lord willing. Uh, again, don't forget to uh, adjust your clock or listen to your uh, things set up on your phone, whatever it is. But we're going to lose that hour, but trust God anyway. He's faithful to us. Such a blessing to be with you. And uh, Lord willing, we'll see you Monday. Have a great evening. Thank you so much for watching. It is such a huge encouragement.